The question says the two charges in the figure below are separated by a distance equal to 1.5 centimeters. Let Q1 be negative 18.5 nanocoulombs and Q2 be 28.5 nanocoulombs. Then find the electric potential at point A and have that in kilovolts. Find the electric potential at point B, which is halfway between the charges. Okay, so the general uh, the general equation for uh, potential is for electric potential is the electric potential V is equal to a K K E, which is Coulomb's constant, times Q over R. Now there's some notation that you should be kind of aware of. So we're looking for the absolute electric potential. Um, so don't get it confused with the the change in electric potential, uh, which you could measure as the change of potential energy over the charge. However, if you another equation for the electric potential is uh, the the absolute electric potential is equal to the absolute potential energy, not the change of potential energy, but the absolute potential energy divided by Q. However, in our situation, it's much easier to use the general formula than it is to use uh, potential energy because then we've got to calculate a potential energy. Now, the next thing to remember is that uh, electric potential is a scalar quantity. So if we want to find it, all we have to do is find the uh, potential energy from, or not the potential energy, the electric potential from Q1 to point A, and then find the same from Q2 to point A, and then just add them together. Uh, there is no vector sum. We don't have to take the cosine or the, or the sine of, a, of an angle or anything like that. We just have to add them together. And so we'll say that, that uh, V is equal to V1 plus V2, where V1 is the, is the electric potential from Q, uh, that Q1 ex has on point A, and V2 is the electric potential that Q2 has on point A. And so V1 is going to be equal to K times, Q, uh, times Q1 over R. And V2, we'll come over to this side, V2 is going to be equal to K times Q2 over R. And then when we just add the answers to those together, we get uh, the, the potential electric potential. So K is 8.99 or 8.987 times 10 to the 9th. So 8.987 times 10 to the 9th times Q1 which is uh, negative 18.5 times 10 to the negative ninth, negative 18.5 times 10 to the negative ninth nan uh, in units of coulombs, and Q2 is 28.5 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. And our, our radius is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. So that's the conversions of everything. So 8.99 times 10 to the 9th times negative 18.5 times 10 to the negative 9th uh, divided by 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. You should get that it equals negative 1.11 times 10 to the 4th. You plug your numbers in again for V2 and you should get that V2 is equal to uh, one th uh, we'll just do 17 we'll just say 17,075.3 and that's uh that's in units of uh volts so when we add those two numbers together you should get that the electric potential is equal to 5,991.333 volts now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, well, at point B, it must be zero because it's halfway in between the two charges. That is almost correct if the two charges were equal and opposite signs or equal signs. So what, what I mean by that is if Q2 was a positive 28.5, and Q1 was a negative 28.5, when you add those together, 
you're going to just cancel them straight out to zero. But they're not the same magnitude. So you actually have to just replug in everything, except this time you're going to change your radius to half of the distance. So this is this is D. All of these lines are equal because this is a 60 degree angle. It's an isosceles triangle. So this distance halfway is exactly one half of D. So one half of 1.5 centimeters. So that's 0.75 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And you rerun your numbers and you should get that uh, that this uh, V, V uh, I'll say V of B is equal to 11, so it's, the answer is, uh, so the, I told you the first answer was 5,991.333, that's in volts, they want the answer in kilovolts, so change a K there and shift your decimal place over, and you get 5.991, and then uh, the potential at point B is going to be equal to uh, 11.982 kilovolts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do uh, give me some uh, some plus one love on Google, and make sure you share me on Facebook. Appreciate it.